Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. So our goal today, we're going to be exploring this charming little mountain town a mm -hmm. bit today. We are going to be trying some delicious food. This town isn't necessarily known for like dishes, but we are going to try some epically Canadian food and they have some pretty delicious places to try them at around here. But before we get started, we thought we would share a little bit about Banff with you guys. This was actually the first national park in Canada, the third in all of North America after Yellowstone and Mackinac. I don't know if I know about that one, but pretty cool. It's a really old national park. Banff is in the Canadian province of Alberta. And like she said, it is the first national park. The area is known for its epic natural beauty. It's surrounded by huge peaks and beautiful lakes, some of which you guys have already seen in our previous videos and are gonna see more of in our next video. The area gets its name after Banff, Scotland, which was the birthplace of the president of the Canadian Pacific Railway, George Stephen. And now that you guys know a little bit more about the area, let's go get breakfast. Our first stop of the day is Coyote Southwestern Grill to get a very cool and unique breakfast. I got French toast, but it's not just regular French toast. Inside of here, it has Swiss cheese and Canadian back bacon, which should be kind of like a really thin pork chop. It's a cut that's much leaner than bacon as we know it, but it's supposed to be pretty lean, pretty yummy, and served with a side of Canadian maple syrup. French oh toast God. sandwich, I know. basically. <laughs> it's like sweet and savory combinations. I love them. Oh my gosh, I might have accidentally gone crazy with this syrup, but no regrets. I don't know when the last time I was, oh, I'm just realizing I don't think I got any bacon in there. Okay, I got a little piece of bacon, there's some cheese in there, lots of syrup and butter. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. That uh, back bacon is super salty. Tastes like ham. I would have just thought it's thick cut ham. It's so good though, and with the cheese and then the syrup, it's so salty and sweet at the same time. It's got it all. Ooh, I'm a fan, I'm a big fan. All right, now scoop that sucker right here. Oh, yeah. You got a nice little landing zone for it. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking, oh yeah. Oh. Get just a wee bit of whoop, syrup on there. You know, syrup, it just inevitably gets on you somehow, <laughs> no matter what you do. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> That's my bite right there. Mm. Mm. I like this because it's multiple breakfasts in one. You've got the meat, which is usually separate, but then you've also got the French toast, and it's all just mixed in together, and it all goes together very well, and it's very delicious. Oh my God, that was delicious. <laughs> Best possible way to start our food adventure today. Oh yes, oh my God. But we desperately need coffee after all of that. Yeah, so we're gonna go grab some to go and then we're going to just stroll around the town and explore yeah, Banff a bit. It's such a lovely morning. There might be thunderstorms later, I'm hoping not, but we'll take advantage of the weather while we have it. We got some iced lattes, and this cafe is so cool. You can watch them baking everything fresh back in there. And if we had not had breakfast, I would definitely have been getting something here. They have so many fresh pastries and sandwiches and goodies, and it smells so good. There's a sign in here that says Kwong Lee Restaurant Bakery, and I was so confused by it, but then we read this thing here, and it says that this building out here was actually Bamp's first bakery. And then when they were building this one, or kind of renovating it, I guess, they found this sign, and it was from a restaurant from 1905 to 1912. Yeah, that's that's wow. crazy. That's so cool. So they yeah. say now his legacy lives on. They don't think that was the guy's actual name. I guess Wong Lee means expansive profit. That'd be a badass name, though. No? Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Expansive profit. <laughs> So that's why they call him Bigfoot. 
Makes proud sense. of that one? Yeah. <laughs> I'm really proud. Next up, we're going to be trying beaver tails. So you guys know it's such a harsh climate up here that you really have to get scrappy with what you can eat. And so, you know, the tail of the beaver is a really common thing to eat up here. I'm just kidding. It's actually just a really sweet treat that we're going to try it right now. So this is a beaver tail. I guess it looks kind of like a beaver tail, right? Yeah. So it's just a big fried chunk of dough and then you get whatever toppings you want on there. I think pretty popular to get cinnamon and sugar or a hazelnut spread. We are sticking with the super Canadian theme of maple topping and I think it's chocolate on there. Let us know which kind is your favorite though. They had so many types to choose from but I feel like we have already hit our sugar quota for the day. So yeah, we we're going to be just dying split one. <laughs> after this. It's going to be rough. But man, does this thing look and oh smell God, good. And just as you so walk by this place, you're just drawn in by the smell. I mean, how can you go wrong with like deep fried dough and then gooey, sugary goodness on top? Oh, sorry in advance, teeth. Ooh. Oh my God. It tastes like a funnel cake but with maple glaze, I guess, and chocolate on top instead of the powdered sugar. Holy cow, that is good. And I think it said it's whole wheat flour that they use. I feel like it gives it a kind of a nicer taste, like a, a more rich taste. Wow, this is uh, pretty much perfection, I'd say. These officially became Beaver Tails in 1978. That's when this company came about and trademarked the name Beaver Tails. So I guess it's not authentic unless you're getting it from Beaver Tails, which we did today. Oh. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> that is so rich and delicious. Ugh. Oh, is it? <laughs> nice save. It's weirdly, you know, it tastes like a donut, but it's not fluffy like a donut. It's flat and it's got the texture, the consistency of pizza crust, but it's really sweet, you know, and kind of cinnamony and chocolatey and mapley, of course, and delicious. Mm. Splitting this probably isn't that bad for you because. It's so thin that you gotta be getting a lot less calories on this thing. Yeah, and it's nice that the uh, crust isn't really sweet. It's just like fried dough. Yeah. So the sweetness only comes on top, so you could scrape some off if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. Oh man, <laughs> it's really good. You don't actually have to come to Banff to try this. This is a chain. They have them all over Canada and in Calgary, back where we, where we started our trip from. But oh, man, I can really recommend it because this thing is just delicious. You should probably have a couple bites because I've already eaten half of this thing. <laughs> no, I'll let you uh, do the damage yeah. you want to do. You're doing this on purpose. I knew it. She's li literally wiping the goo off of the wrapper <laughs> to make sure she gets every last bit. <laughs> well, that was delicious. And now we're going to do probably the most appropriate thing after inhaling all that sweet stuff. Take a nap? Well, I was going to say take a hike, but a nap is actually a lot more appropriate. <laughs> I was just goofing around. <laughs> but we are going to go take a hike because uh, we need to work this bad boy off. Yes, we'll see you there. big old behemoth back here is Tunnel Mountain. The question is, why is it called mm -hmm. Tunnel Mountain? There are actually no tunnels going through this mountain. <laughs> it's made of tunnels! <laughs> but it's because when they were building the railroad through here, the survey called for a tunnel through the mountain because they thought it kind of blocked the whole area where they wanted to put the railroad through. But then upon further inspection, they realized that they could go around, I think, the north end of it. So it kept the name Tunnel Mountain, even though there's no tunnel anywhere around it. This is actually the trail. This doesn't even look like a trail. I don't know. This I think it's supposed to be a, well, maybe this is as far as it goes. I don't know. We found the proper trail and the views are spectacular. Mm -hmm. You can follow this way along and you get to the hoodoos, which are like fairy chimneys. There's a few of them over there. I, if you remember when we were in Turkey, there were hundreds and hundreds of them. Yes, we crazy. actually flew a hot air balloon over them. It was absolutely magical. You guys, I'm starving. <laughs> we are going to head to the Grizzly House, which I am so freaking excited about. It's come highly recommended. It's kind of a popular spot, a touristy spot, but it I think it's one of those touristy, places yeah. that's gonna be really good. Yep. The vibe in Banff, just to give you an idea, it is very cool. There's shops everywhere, restaurants everywhere, little sweet shops. Yeah, and everything the seems- The horse right there. <laughs> other than the beaver tails and like a Starbucks or McDonald's, everything, yeah. everything seems to be super local, 
which I really love. It feels like really homey instead of some touristy towns you go to and like they have a lot of tchotchkes, but they're really trashy and cheap. Yeah, everything's so rustic and classy yeah, here, even I though think, it's a tourist town. I think that's the word. Banff is very classy, rustic and classy, and I love it. I also love that the mountains are so close here. Yeah, so every like, direction you look, there's yeah, uh, mountains. There's Great. huge peaks and it, I don't know, it just feels like you're in this magical land. I love it. Welcome to the Grizzly House. This place is known for fondue and I guess exotic meats. So cheese, meat, that's our jam. I'm so excited for this. The place itself, it's kind of in the middle of all the shops on the main street. I don't think I would have thought anything about it, but it's really cool on the inside. It's really dark and cabin-like. It was a bit too dark for us to film in there though, so we're sitting outside on the porch, which is great since the weather is holding out. It was maybe gonna storm, but it looks like maybe the sun's coming out. We got a couple beers yeah, to start. Yeah, a couple start. local brews. Oh. Yeah. Our appetizer has arrived and it is just your classic cheesy fondue. So this is a mixture of Emmental and what was the other one? Uh, Gruyere. Gruyere. And then we put a whole bunch of garlic cloves in there. We get a huge basket of bread cubes that we're gonna dip in here. Oh my gosh. So you can order fondue separately. You can get whatever components you want or you can do a set dinner, which is what we did. So it starts with a super salad, and then you get your appetizer of a cheese or a veggie one. We decided to go big and went with the cheese. We made the right call, guys. Yeah, Look for at this. sure. And then we will have some delicious meats and a dessert coming next. But first, I'm gonna dip all this bread into here. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I'll wait a second. It looks really oh, freaking so hot. Oh my god. <laughs> that is creamy and pungent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the cheese is super stinky and yummy and then the garlic in there, you can taste it. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I went for a run this morning and we did that little hike. Oh my lord. We're gonna have to be in our sweatpants after this. It's not gonna be pretty, <laughs> but worth it. And then next up, I think you could do oil or hot coals, but I think we got hot coals. And then we have chocolate fondue. So we're doing all the fondues. I'm pretty impressed with us. We uh, made pretty quick work of this stuff. Oh, yeah. Now on to the meat. Our server is an angel straight from heaven. <laughs> we thought we were done with the fondue and then he came with this knife and scraped off all the burnt cheese on the bottom. He said his family calls it Canadian, wait, was it uh, bacon cheese? Cheese bacon. Cheese bacon. Can you almost said Canadian bacon. <laughs> Canadian bacon. <laughs> that might be better than the actual fondue. Okay. <laughs> But onto the meat. Venison, white-tailed deer. Okay. Okay. Then you got your your elk and duck. This is herb garlic butter. Keeps everything from sticking. Perfect. So we have buffalo, wild boar, and venison, and then we have duck and elk. And I think everything except for the venison is from here in Canada. Actually, in Calgary, I believe. First, I'm gonna put a little a bit of this butter on there. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey. All right, that'll do. I think. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I feel like I'm totally gonna mess this up. All right, elk it is. That's this beautiful little hunk right here. All right. So I put it on here and... <laughs> Get on there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we are cooking. So now what I do is let it sit there for a little bit. Yeah, you said 30 seconds for like rare-ish, up to two and a half minutes if you want really well. That actually looks really tasty though. That butter is cooking there. I'm really not sure how long to cook this for. I'm I think not... that's pretty good. He said as rare as you can handle it. Yeah. So. All right. Let's give this sucker a little, a little try. I think I'm gonna try this tomatoey sauce first. Oh wow. Mm. Wow. I did a really good job <laughs> without knowing what the heck I was doing. But that piece was delicious. It just kind of melts apart in your mouth. It's got so much flavor. The tomatoey sauce must have had something slightly spicy in there but added a bit of flavor to it, a bit of savoriness to it. It's so good. I think I'm gonna try the wild boar because I don't think in my life I've ever maybe had boar. It is really hard to get off there. It's well, really light in color, don't you yeah. think? It's almost pork-like, which yeah, I guess makes sense, it. duh, because it's a boar. I mean, yeah. While she's cooking hers, we're gonna put a couple other pieces on yeah, here. Some of them you need a little bit longer, I think. Put a little more butter on there. Yeah, this is some duck that we got. Ooh, I'm so excited about that. 
Mmm. It tastes like pork chicken. It's a little tough, but not too tough. Not super chewy either, but not gamey or anything like that. I think a sauce would really help it a lot, but man, this butter, this herb butter that they uh, gave us on the side, oh my gosh, it has so much flavor in there. Got a few pieces left. We had to switch to another stone because we let this one cool too much. So these are literally just hot stones that they bring out. Yes. And just the heat inside of it's what's cooking the meat. Yeah, it's amazing. So you could also do hot oil and dip them into it, but it was a little breezy when we first sat down and he was scared that it would just blow and like destroy us, I guess, and pop yeah. on us. So much safer. Yeah, but you, there so are cool. still little pieces hopping off of there. So if you get too close, you'll get you'll get burned a little bit, but Part of the fun. Yeah. I don't know how we're supposed to, but now we have the task of eating dessert. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> we just ate so much meat. It was amazing. But they just brought, look at this. It's melted chocolate. He said that the candle is just for effect, so it's not actually melting it. He said it was <laughs> theatrics. Theatrics, yeah. It's just melted already. We have strawberries and bananas, which I am most excited about. And then over here, we have a whole, two different types of melon and then apples and then these little wafers. I guess I can be convinced to uh, take the first stab at it. Oh, a <laughs> little fondue humor. Already for making fondue jokes after your first <laughs> dinner. How much do I do? I like douse it in chocolate? Yeah, dude. Man, I don't know the proper fondue etiquette. It's so much chocolate. I'm going <laughs> to have a toothache after this. Look at this thing. Jeez. <laughs> That was a good reaction, I promise. <laughs> it's just so sweet and chocolatey. That chocolate is really interesting. It's super milky and runny and melty and really very sweet. <laughs> it's really good though. Oh, there's little chunks of uh, peanuts, I think, maybe in there, little crunchy bits. Oh yeah, it's Toblerone chocolate, I think, which oh, has little, okay. is it nuts or nougat or something like I that? I think there are little nuts in there. We're getting a little bit of fruit, so we're keeping it healthy. Yeah, this is all about health, you guys. Just kidding. It's time for the wafers, y'all. Oh. Oh yeah, dude, that's chocolate on chocolate right there. Oh, the wafers win. They're really good. Holy cow. So today was all about the food in Banff. Tomorrow is all about the nature. We are going to be getting outside of the city center and just seeing all sorts of amazing sights. The weather today was kind of crummy, which is why we chose to do the food stuff. Tomorrow should be super warm, super sunny. I cannot wait for it. We're going to see so many pretty things. I hope you guys are ready. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road. Thank <laughs> you.